Welcome everyone to this live stream. So today I'm going to talk about the uh, transparent images. So how do you create or export a transparent image, logo or graphics in CorelDRAW so that you can send it say to a printer or to your client um, or you want to insert it in an, a graphic or another software uh, but you want to have a transparent background. So there are, uh, there are situations wherein, um, say for example, this is a vector. Let's see what are vectors here. So I go to wireframe and uh, so this is an image. This is vector, this is vector image. This is not, this is a bitmap. And this logo is a vector image. Now, if you design the logo for a client and you want them to, uh, or if they ask for um, a logo, you don't usually give them the, uh, I mean, you give them the EPS or um, say, say the vector file, but sometimes they want to use it for the website. So in, um, in giving a logo with, with not transparent logo, uh, that will have like a border around. And I'm pretty sure you've uh, experienced that. So I'm just going to give an example here. For example, this logo, I am going to um, just um, export it to the web. And then I'm just going to remove the transparency. And then I'm going to save as, and then I'm just going to put it somewhere else. So I'm going to put it here and then send it to, you know, to the client, then uh, the client would, would, would receive it and uh, would check it out if it could be suitable for the website. So in order to test what the exported file is, is I normally do this, I, I make it gray or any color, solid color, and then you go import, right? So click a, click this button to import, and then I'm going to import that logo that I that I exported as a as a transparent uh, as a transparent logo, which I cannot find. Okay, so it's here. No, this is already. Um, wait a minute. Sorry, I'm just canceled that and just gonna make sure where I saved it. So file export for web and I put it save as and then I put it okay in live thumbnails. Okay, so I'm going to import it here. So go to the folder and then I'm going to go to thumbnails uh, which uh, where is thumbnails here. Okay, uh, thumbnails, sorry about that. And then I'm going to live and the logo is in here. And then I'm just gonna import it here. So this is what the client will get, uh, a non-transparent logo. So this is not good for websites or if say, for example, they're putting it in a Word document right they want a transparent logo so in order to do that uh, you just select the logo okay the vector logo and then you go file export web and this is the important thing click on transparency here so when you click on transparency uh, CorelDRAW will give you like a preview and everybody knows that the checkered pattern means to say it's transparent right so and then click on save and then it goes to here I'm just gonna put it there and click on save and then I'm going to import it and it's gonna be this one and then I'm gonna click here and there there you go right so there is a big difference between a transparent logo and a non-transparent logo okay let's go to um, to graphics like this so same thing for the graphics like this, you select all, okay? And then go to file, export for web, and then you will have this one. So this is the right file that you're going to send. So make sure to click on the transparent. Save as, and then it would go to a folder and you're going to, um, 
we're going to save that and then I'm going to just test it out so Im import and I'm gonna go to to the folder and then I'm just going to import it like this okay so now it's transparent it's not a vector but it's a transparent PNG okay if I go here view and wireframe these are all um, bitmaps already or PNGs right so now let's go to uh, yeah this is the same thing for the graphic uh, for for a graphic like this I'm gonna talk about this one here there is no automatic way to remove the background okay so if I move this over here and then put it put that to front um, it's not transparent right so there is no way that I can change I can remove the background unless I create a vector uh, and then power clip it so this is the vector that I power clipped it so if I go to view and then go to wireframe so this is the vector path that I created and then I power clip this one inside the inside the um, the path right so so now this one um, I'm just going to cast a shadow here just to demonstrate that when you're casting a shadow you can still make the shadow transparent so for example here I'm just gonna make a simple one maybe okay so I'm gonna do it there okay so now this one has a shadow right so um, if I go to view you, this is the shadow and then this is the the vector and then uh, so if I extend this one you'll notice that um, shift page down you'll notice that it has a shadow right but make sure when you export it so for example I'm going to export this file export for web make sure to click on the transparent and then you would notice here that you know the shadows are included right so I'm gonna go save as and I'm just gonna save it in my uh, in a folder okay I'm saved it already so now I'm going to import that I'm gonna import that here and then put it here and there you go so it is a transparent image with a shadow and this aren't this is not vector anymore so if you go to view and wireframe it's a transparent PNG all right so now what else do we have here so for this kind of um, this kind of image say you want, you want to extract the ball first and then export it as a uh, transparent um, PNG so you go to your ellipse tool and then hold down control click on circle I'm um, create a circle and then make sure that the circle is in the position of the the ball okay so it's it's better to have to put it a little bit inside so the um, so the grass won't show like that okay I'm gonna show you too the nudge is this one so for example the nudge is 10 10 pixels right now so if I want to nudge it um, one pixel at a time so that I can like position the uh, the uh, the circle just change this to say one pixel and then if I click this and then I I go to my arrow keys uh, it's um, it's gonna be one pixel distance okay so this is good so click on the image and then you go to object and then power clip place inside a frame and the frame is the circle so make sure to click on the edge of the circle now it's there and uh, remove the outline okay so once you remove the outline you can test it here so it is transparent so now you can go to file export for web and then same thing transparent
So just pay attention with this um, with this checkered. So once it's checkered, you'll be okay. Okay. And then save us, and then I'll just save it as, as a ball here. Okay. So then once I import, and then I grab that image, the ball. There. It's uh, it's transparent. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna show you one more thing. Uh, there's also one way to mask this. So if you see this kind of image, and then uh, you can see that the background is all white, and uh, and say you don't want to create a vector, you know, vector path here to power clip. There's also a way here, but it's not that accurate. But probably for this kind of photo, it's okay. So you go to bitmap and then bitmap mask. So bitmap mask means to say um, you're going to choose a color here and then it's gonna hide the color. So you click on your, so this dialog box will show up. So you click on the, um, the dropper tool and then sample that color. So now it goes here. So it means to say, if I click this and I click on hide selection, so all the whites here will be removed and then click on apply. That, see that? Now the tolerance, you can play around with the tolerance. Say for example, I'm just gonna exaggerate it, move it to 74%, click okay. It's not too bad because the, uh, the white background is, um, you know, in the image is really white, no shadow. So yeah, so that's how you, so without going to, you know, creating a path, you can also do this. And then once you export this as a, as a PN, transparent PNG, that will be okay. So I'm just gonna test it out and then I'm just going to put here, save that and then I'll try to import it now. Okay, so here is the imported PNG. Yeah. So, so it still can't, uh, the bitmap masking still can't beat the uh, vector masking, like for example, this one, because you can see it's really sharp. But if it's only like, a, you know, it's not really the focal point in your, in your graphics, this is already fine. Okay, so yeah, so I think that's all for today. This is not a long tutorial, but but yeah, this is how you create uh, transparent images, especially if your client needs it for the website. And also, for example, in PowerPoint, you want to insert a PowerPoint, I mean, an image which was done in Corel Draw to PowerPoint. You can't actually ex uh, import a PowerPoint, I mean, a Corel Draw file to a PowerPoint. It has to be an image. So the best thing to do to, to change the, uh, to make it transparent is to export it as a, as a um, transparent PNG. Okay, so I hope you like the tutorial. Um, please comment in the comment section below if you have any comments about it or any questions. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.